men and women of good will, I salute you in the holy name of Jesus. My name is Barwen Bessane. I am a Jesuit priest committed to university ministry at USF. Following our yesterday meditation, today I would like to meditate with you on the third temptation of Jesus. We are going to meditate on from the awareness of our vulnerability to trusting God. In the Bible, in Matthew chapter 5, chapter 4, verses 8 to 11, we can read, Again the devil took him to a very high mountain and showered him on the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him, and angels came and attended him. This very temptation is related to humans being willingness to have power and get control of everything. Indeed, we all need power. In the 48 Laws of Power, Robert Greene wrote, The feeling of having no power over people and events is generally unbearable to us. When we feel helpless, we feel miserable. No one wants less power. Everyone wants more. In this crucial moment of COVID-19, the world is desperately in need of scientific power. A power through which coronavirus is defeated, death stopped, sick recovered, economy reshaped, earth refined, and daily normal life resumed. This is our worldwide desperate need, now and right now. It's human, it's normal, because we are used to get everything fixed. Unfortunately, now seems the time to be powerless. But as children of God, in God we put our trust, for God is God, and God does never sleep. The third temptation is the one that still infests most leaders in our world today. Political power, control of vast territories, empires, visible and invisible spaces and resources. Remember, during the first century, the people of Israel were expecting a Messiah to be an earthly king, a powerful military general who will defeat Israel's enemies, including the Romans, and regain, and regain Israel's ancestral homelands. The very Messiah had to rule the entire globe and bring everlasting peace and prosperity to the chosen people. Jesus was able to possess all of this power, to be the Messiah his people wanted him to become. All he had to do was bow down and worship Satan. This temptation is still real. Who will we serve? Jesus had many options. But he decided to cry out, Away from me, Satan! I will serve God and God alone. In doing so, Jesus is teaching us to resist the temptation of power. Money, success, and political positions are not going to provide a magical response to our present crisis unless we accept to bow down and worship. Satan. Now is the time to learn from our vulnerability. According to Thomas Huber, a modern mystic, we have been thrown into a river. Now is the time to awaken our instinctive skills for swimming. We are living through a global challenge. 
where collective trauma layers are being reacted. It's important that we meet this moment with presence, honoring our fear while awakening our resilience that has been transmitted from our ancestors who survived crisis in the past. We can choose to raise our awareness to create mutual support and collaboration, find a new vision and fully embody our potential. Now is the time to learn that our possessions cannot save us. COVID-19 has a huge impact on how we relate to each other, on how we connect to each other or distance from each other, on how we handle common issues, on how we make the difference between priority and secondary matters. We must relate to our interior personal experiences. This very challenge is calling each of us to be truly human in order to conceptualize our fear, our common concerns, our stress. Capturing these feelings is key to the world. Now is the time for all of us to learn how to collaborate. For Pope Francis, we have realized that we are on the same boat. All of us fragile and disoriented, but at the same time important and needed. All of us called to row together, each of us in need of comforting the other. Now is the time to accept we all need one another. For a person is a person to other persons. We are learning from COVID-19 that we are one composed humanity with different peoples, various cultures and diverse perspectives. We are skilled to overcome any crisis if we become aware of putting the common good first and our responsibility to care for Mother Earth first. Our interconnection goes beyond ages, races, religion, and social issues. Only in solidarity we can help each other to overcome fears and anxieties. Now is the time to seize egotistic competition and compete together against our common monster for the sake of each of us. Now is the time for all of us to trust each other. Some members of our humanity are in the front line, caring for those affected and infected, seeking sustainable solutions and wrestling to make decisions, including doctors, scientists, police, political leaders, economists, etc., etc. I do praise God for their efforts and commitment. Very now is the time for all of us to trust God. We also learn to understand the power of faith, the bonds uniting believing, despite the fact that religious gatherings are forbidden. Some are professing their beliefs and their religions throughout social media and others are praying in silence. We do belong to God, and God will never allow His beloved to perish if we accept to trust Him. May God receive our past, beloved. May God recover all the sick. May God bless you.